Hello ladies and gentlemen, Top Hat Gaming Man here and in today's video I have decided that I shall be talking about this lovely thing, the Philips CDI. Yeah, what? What do you mean? It's not oh, sorry this is not a Philips CDI, this is a VCR. My mistake. I'll get the right thing. We're going to be talking about this lovely thing, the Philips CDI. Oh, right. This is an Xbox One. Anyway, all these black boxes look the same, don't they? However, we are going to be talking about yeah, this lovely thing, the Philips CDI. And yes, it's the right black box this time. Anyway, the reason why I'm deciding to talk about the Philips CDI today is in relation to this whole mini craze we have been getting over the last couple of years. We got the NES Mini, and since then we have since got a Commodore 64 Mini, a Super Nintendo Mini, um, and we also have a PlayStation Mini on the way as a result. We currently are going through a period of Mini Fever. However, this isn't very Mini, it's actually rather heavy, so I'm going to put this down for now. So, whilst it may sound utterly ridiculous to some people, the concept of a Philips CDI Mini, I can give you some very good reasons as to why we should get one. And more importantly than that, I can actually provide you with some substantial evidence as to why this may in fact become a reality, believe it or not. Recently on Twitter, a YouTuber known as Chris Scullion sent out a tweet which was a bit tongue-in-cheek, a bit of a joke um, regarding that Philips CDI should release a mini. And uh, the tweet stated this. So Mr. Scullion posted an image uh, which basically said Philips CDI with 20 classic games included, such as Hotel Mario, Zelda The Wand of Gamelon, The Faces of Evil, Zelda's Adventure, Burn Cycle, The Seventh Guest, Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia, Playboy's Complete Massage and Mad Dog McCree. All absolute classics in my opinion. Well, some of them, I suppose, anyway. However, why wouldn't we want to get these games on an updated version of the Philips CDI? Again, the tweet was obviously a joke. Well, I would make an assumption that it was some kind of joke. However, let's be honest, a Philips CDI Mini would be more useful than an NES Mini or Super Nintendo Mini or PlayStation Mini because you can get all of those games in other ways anyway. Like, you can download all of the games which are coming out on the PlayStation Mini in the PlayStation Store for pennies. You can't do that with any of the CDI library, unfortunately, which is rather a shame because we should be given modern ways we can play games such as Burn Cycle, surely. So yes, I could see a CDI Mini being quite a popular product amongst a very niche, obtuse market. So, for all the people in the world who are a little bit like me. So, Philips amusingly saw this tweet by Chris Scullion and they actually responded with a legitimate answer. The original tweet received um, a lot of likes and uh, retweets for obvious reasons, uh, partially for a joke and partially, like I said, people like me who genuinely want one. And Philips Care actually responded with, thank you very much for reminding us of the Philips CDI. We appreciate the thought of a smaller classic version of one of our legacy devices. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Philips themselves seem fairly impressed with this rather marvellous idea. Imagine that, a world where we get to enjoy Philips CDI games without having to own something as outrageous as this. If any system deserves a mini, it's something underappreciated like that, isn't it? But Philips CDI is nowhere near as bad as many people would claim. In fact, I would bet that the majority of people have never even played a CDI game in their life. Despite that, I would say a lot of people who have, have actually got around to playing the system can find some nice redeeming features, and I'm one of those people. There's quite a few people on YouTube actually who love the system. Wrestling with gaming, um, being another person who regularly talks about the undersung greatness of the Philips CDI. So, like I said, there was a lot of people going on this um, tweet and responding on how much they would like to see a Philips CDI, and as I said, Philips Care just continued to back this up. 
um, and they've responded to someone with an account at CDI3DO, two great systems I may add, and they've said, Hi CDI3DO, thank you for your love, encouragement and interest. We will try our best to fulfil your dreams and release something you suggest, but we cannot promise anything yet. Please be a bit patient and stay tuned. Thank you in advance, AT. So look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Lips's care team are responding to these requests, and as I said, it, there's a good chance this could become a genuine reality. Further in this same question and answer thread, um, someone asked, I think it was um, CDI3DO again, um, asked Philips which model they would intend to make a mini version of if they went on to release the system. And they even responded to that question too. And they said, thank you for your question. Actually, we do not have a specific model to offer, but we hope that we will have new models in the future. So ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Well, um, in video form at least because um, I took this information from Twitter, but you heard it. You you heard it here first on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Philips are very much behind the idea of releasing a new Philips CDI 2018. What a fantastic time to be alive, eh? When you think about it, this is amazing because all of this indicates to one thing: sometimes memes do come true which is such a great image, isn't it, to have? As stated earlier in the video, I genuinely believe that a lot of these mini systems are pretty pointless if you are a retro gamer. You've probably played all the NES games by now and know a million different ways in which you can either play them for free or experience them for extremely cheap. The same would go for the PlayStation library as well. The CDI library though, on the other hand, is a different kettle of fish altogether. Apart from the fact that the games are harder to emulate and play on other systems, there's no official way you can get most of these games at all now. So if Philips CDI could manage to, well Philips themselves could release a new CDI, this would be the first way in which people could experience these games and buy them since 1993. Which is an amazingly long amount of time since these games have been absent. Also imagine how amazing it would be if it turns out that Philips still have the distribution rights to re-release games with the name Zelda and Mario in the title. They could potentially make a killing, even if it was some kind of sick curiosity with regards to the whole thing. Like, let's be fair, there's been some pretty odd Kickstarters down the line which have seen the rise of some outrageous games, like somehow Bubsy is going to be making a comeback shortly, and we've also seen a, uh, a new version of Shaq Fu, haven't we? So with a return of stuff like Bubsy or Shaq Fu, why doesn't the Philips CDI deserve a second chance too? Even if it is a rather strange um, return to form, one would say, if it's ever been in form at all. Further down to that as well, um, let's talk about for a minute about full motion video games. I don't believe you can play any full motion video games on any of the mini devices, and that's a genre of gaming which appears to have disintegrated from the world over time. We rarely get full motion games now, and if we do get them, they're just going to be some really odd, obtuse indie game here and there. So, for many people, if they uh, procured the CDI Mini, it would perhaps be their first ever experience with the wonderfulness which is full motion video. So just imagine Burn Cycle in 2018, so the people of the new world could experience those games. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Burn cycle, just imagine that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely sick and tired of revisiting the exact same systems over and over again. Like, how many times over do we need the release of the same NES games? They come out every bloody generation, don't they? We've had them on the Wii, we had them on the Wii U, we've now got them on the Switch with Nintendo's botched online service, and we had them on the NES Mini as well. That's been four official ways to buy them over and over again, and that's not even including the original run, is it? So it's really nice to hear the potential of something making a return which hasn't been as done to death as other systems in the past. So ladies and gentlemen, will the Philips CDI be released in a new mini form? 
Well, to be honest, probably not. But Philips certainly have found the idea of making a mini system rather entertaining nonetheless. Let's hope we get one of these things down the line. I'd love a bit of more full motion video. This is full motion video and you'll love it, so you'll love the Philips CDI too. Cheerio!